Hello boys and girls and welcome to Sunday School. It is time for another review lesson. The Kingdom story comes from the Bible and we know it is a true story because the Bible is God's Word. Today we're going to review the last four lessons that we have heard about the ministry of Jesus. We heard the story of when Jesus cleared the temple. The temple was supposed to be a holy place where people from all nations could come to pray and worship God. Jesus was angry that the Jewish people had turned the temple courtyard into a place of sin, full of greedy sellers and money changers. So Jesus made a whip and tipped over the tables and chased out all the sellers and traders with their animals. Then Jesus told the people that soon they would no longer need a temple made of stone, where they made animal sacrifices for their sin. Instead, Jesus would become the once and for all sacrifice for the sins of the whole world when he died on the cross. And he would rise from the dead on the third day. Then Jesus himself would be the true temple. Jesus would be God's place where God lives with his people, the church. In our next lesson, we heard the story of Nicodemus, a Pharisee who came to Jesus at night to ask him questions. Jesus explained to Nicodemus that to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again, born from above, from God's Holy Spirit. To be born again means that when we repent or turn from our sins, believe in Jesus and are baptized, we have God's Holy Spirit living in us and we have new eternal life in Christ. But Nicodemus just couldn't see what Jesus meant and he did not fully understand who Jesus was. In our third story, we met a blind man who did end up seeing who Jesus was and he worshipped him. This man was born blind and had to beg for food because he could not work. Jesus healed this man. Jesus put mud on his eyes and sent him to the pool of Siloam to wash the mud off. Then he could see with his eyes and he could also see spiritually. He could see that Jesus really was the light of the world who had come to rescue us from sin and death. In our final story, we saw how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead so that people would believe that Jesus was God the Son, the forever King who was sent to bring new life to the world. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. John 11:25. Jesus taught that even though people die, Whoever believes in Him will have eternal life. That means living forever with Jesus. In the Bible, there are many, many more stories of the wonderful miracles and healings that Jesus did when He was with the disciples. But Jesus had also come to die and to rise again. And next week, we will begin to journey with Jesus through the last week of his earthly life. We call that Holy Week. Bye for now. See you next week.